Hexagons are six-sided two-dimensional shapes, with each side making an angle of 120 degrees to one another. Bet you knew that already but did you know how common this shape is in our world? If you want simple explanations to complex thoughts and ideas, we at Explified got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe and stay tuned to learn more about the hexagon. Nature has its own way of doing things, but the remarkable thing about its workings is that it always follows path where minimum energy is spent and maximum stability is achieved. Let us recollect hexagonal structures which we come across in the nature. Honeycombs? Ice crystals? A small lens in the compound eyes of a bee? But is this shape found outside Earth? The answer is, yes. If you look at the north pole of Saturn, you would find a hexagonal structure, which is basically a huge cloud, with a side itself bigger than the Earth's diameter. Scientists explain this phenomenon by comparing it to a bucket filled with water and spinning it unimaginably fast, would yield the same result. On Earth though, we have explanations for its occurrings. Before we tell you that, you need to know what surface tension is. The molecules of a liquid, have a sticky nature, in scientific terms, the molecules have a cohesive nature, which pulls other molecules towards itself. This property is responsible for achieving minimum surface area for a liquid. More cohesive the nature, less of the surface area and vice versa. Like we said before, nature tries to utilize the least amount of energy and resources to achieve a stable, sustainable product. Similarly when a bubble forms, nature has to create a shape with the least amount of surface area and maximum amount of volume. That shape comes out to be a circle in 2D or a sphere in 3D. Similarly, even liquids, form a sphere if ejected in a zero gravity environment. Maximum volume and minimum surface area. But, why are we talking about circles and spheres in a video about hexagons? Well, now if you tried the huge number of deform able bubbles or spheres in a close pack, then guess what? All the spheres would deform into a 3D hexagonal prism, in simple words, it would look like a honeycomb structure. Now you know it is the most stable and requires the least amount of surface area. Now, for honeycombs, when they are made, the bees lay down the wax in a circular manner, but due to its surface tension, the wax is pulled into a hexagonal shape. Bet you didn't know that. Hope you learned something new from the video. Like share and subscribe, and check out more videos on our channel. See you in the next one.